Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody has something to say to you. I feel like someone wants to reunite with you, work together with you, um, and bring a balance more than anything. It feels like somebody has either a confession to make, some sort of apology. Someone from your past could be showing up at this time, but it's kind of hard to say. It just feels like there is a past with someone here that seems to be very relevant or important. Um, like you and someone have history here. You could be working with somebody here that you feel very connected to. Maybe you are collaborating or connecting to somebody that feels like you've met them before, but you're meeting them for the first time, right? feels like a very natural, effortless connection. Could be connecting to a Libra. Overall, I feel like the justice represents that there's a very um, comforting feeling about this person. I feel like there's no drama. There's no tension. It's just like both of you are kind of in the same energy and the same sort of... Um, vibe or chemistry within you know with one another but i feel like this knight of swords has a lot to say i mean he's definitely charged up with emotion and interest in you know kind of getting something off of his chest right and we also have interestingly enough the lovers right behind him and so i feel like this is of course your energy right this is gemini but it really is confirming someone here needs to say something get something off their chest if they're going to feel a sense of peace or calm right that's really what it um, boils down to so let's see if we can get some context and let's clarify that six of cups okay um you know it feels like someone could also be very friendly or kind of lending you a hand because this six of cups could also be seen literally as we see it here i mean there's you know um feels like a older person with a younger person right child um this person is kind of lending a hand giving them flowers it feels like a very nice gesture so maybe you and someone are recently um kind of connecting over a you know a pleasant um experience honestly i feel like you you may be changing your mind about this person as well it's almost like something that they did or something that they're doing the way they're talking to you treating you that could be what's making you feel like okay maybe this isn't what i thought it would be maybe it's a lot different but that also could lend some confusion for the most part i think you're figuring it out but there's something very positive about the um kind of um analysis that you're making about this person we have the hierophant which is taurus um king of swords and the two of swords so that's the energy of i don't know how to react to this or i don't know how to feel about this yet right you're still processing um your emotions at this time this could have been a very recent encounter and so naturally you still need to give yourself time to figure out what is it exactly that is happening here i feel like for the most part the hierophant is representing the fact that somebody here is definitely interested in a commitment or some sort of um, long-term relationship here with you maybe this person has yet to say it out loud but there's definitely some sort of interest um building up here for sure so let's clarify the three of pentacles all right so we have the ten of wands um i feel like you could work with this person or maybe you um and this person have some things in common um, maybe you have similar interests, you believe in the same things. It feels like whatever it is that helps you to get along is the things that you bond over that may have a little bit of a stressful origin. So for example, let's say you and this person work together and so you constantly kind of bond over complaining about how, I don't know, bad the work conditions are or maybe you, you know, don't like your boss or I don't know, it's like you bond over something that feels stressful but here's the thing, because you and this person share that experience it doesn't feel as heavy you have someone to share that load with you have someone to talk about it with and so they're helping you kind of feel a little less stressed out and that's really the emphasis here um it's kind of like a very comforting connection for sure we have the knight of cups the king of wands and the eight of cups you and this person maybe have some distance between the two of you maybe there is a boundary that you need to cross before you can really feel confident in the connection maybe this person has recently moved maybe you're moving right maybe there's something about time and distance that is relevant to maybe how difficult it is sometimes to connect for the most part i feel like naturally there is a lot of chemistry and 
passion there, a lot of um, attraction. This King of Wands is really speaking to that. And the Knight of Cups is that emotional connection as well. So there's the best of both worlds, really. But it feels like what's in the way is maybe the one thing you can't change at this moment or the one thing you have no control over. And so I feel like the two of you could be working around that, trying your best to still maintain this connection while also kind of understanding that it may be difficult for the time being. But it does feel like um, both of you are kind of in the same sort of, um, you know, headspace. All right, let's clarify the justice. All right, so we have the Hermit at the bottom of the deck. We are still in Virgo season, and we just had a new moon in Virgo yesterday, September 14th. Um, so maybe there's something recently that has kind of, again, it feels like someone has changed your mind about them or maybe even relationships in general. I feel like there's a beautiful opportunity coming towards you because someone is going to have the courage to say something. We have Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Some communication here is going to be really important. This person could be genuinely trying to reach out to you and make some sort of move or gesture. It feels like they're trying to create something out of this situation. They want some sort of opportunity with you. Maybe you're even receiving an offer. Maybe this offer gets you closer to this person. I mean, there's so many ways to see this, but for the most part, there's definitely something of a blessing. Um, nothing short of a blessing coming through for you, Gemini. And it feels like it's gonna increase your abundance or your quality of life in some way, shape or form feels like you've been maybe chasing a new opportunity for some time now and it's finally getting here. It's finally coming towards you. You no longer have to wait for it. Um, and the Eight of Wands is just maybe you receiving that news um, very soon. You kind of getting the confirmation and the answer that you've been waiting for all this time, just hoping for the best. All right, let's clarify the Six of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. So we have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck, which I'm seeing this again as that distance or whatever separates you between um, what you mostly desire or maybe between you and this person. I feel like you could be making some changes or relocating at this time. Maybe you're getting closer um, to someone or something that you really think is going to improve your life. Um, and so I feel like you're definitely on the right path, right? You're in this um uh, transition it feels like we have the queen of cups three of cups and the seven of swords so it feels like when it comes to the six of cups again there's something very um nostalgic or just very comforting about this person it's like every time you're in this presence or every time you have an exchange or communication with them it feels like you've known them for a long time he could be connecting to a water sign cancer or scorpio pisces i feel like this person has a lot of emotion or love to give maybe you have a lot of love to give maybe there's simply a friendship that is starting here or maybe you've again been with this person or have known this person uh, but it feels like whatever is in the way is coming through as something that can be worked through but it feels like somebody here may be afraid to bring it up. Maybe they have some fears or some anxieties surrounding the topic. The Seven of Swords come through, comes through mostly as self-sabotage. And it's like the universe is saying, don't let that happen, right? Whether it's that person that you're connecting to or it's you, don't do that, right? You are deserving of love, right? You deserve these things that are coming towards you. And you deserve this person. Whatever it is that you feel is going to hold you back or whatever it is that you feel is a detriment, just kind of throw it away, right? Just get rid of the energy because you are moving forward and that's all we need to think about at this time. Eventually, everything will fall into place. But right now, it feels like there could be something internal happening that is maybe making you think certain things that don't really exist, right? Maybe you are telling yourself, oh, this is not going to work out. We're too far away or this and that, right? I feel like the universe is saying there's no place for that here. We can make this happen. Um, you've come this far, right? Why not take it all the way? We have the Four of Wands and the Lovers again. These two have stayed together the entire time for this reading. I really feel like this is the outcome that you're going to expect to see in the near future once this whole situation has kind of um, become a lot easier to deal with. Because right now, I just feel like there's a few kind of bumps in the road or obstacles in the way, but the path is still there. The path will look the same. This obstacle here just needs to get cleared out and then that one over there. And then once that's all done and over with, it feels like you're going to go straight to exactly where you want to be with this person. So really, really beautiful um, message and energies here for you, Gemini. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please 
give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.